must come for us, my Father, to listen to your words. Oh, my Father, I don't want to speak anyhow. I just want to receive it from your heaven. I want you to touch one soul this afternoon. Get you touch in arms, set up And before we leave this place, our life will change. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Holy Spirit avail our hearts to listen to your wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Our God is good. And all the time, can you bless somebody, please? To your left and your right, there must be somebody. I just want you to go and hug somebody and share the love of God. Est-ce que quelqu'un peut partager l'amour de Jésus-Christ? C'est en cela que nous reconnaissons l'amour de Dieu. Hey, alléluia. Il nous a aimé le premier. I want you to bless somebody. I want you to bless somebody. Bless your brother. Bless your sister. Oh, wonderful. Jesus, you are wonderful. See the love of God. See the way you love me. See the way you care for me. Hallelujah. You carry my matter for you. Oh, Jesus, you're so wonderful. Like a little baby. Oh, wonderful, Jesus. The love of God is so wonderful. And I love all of you in the name of Jesus. I love all the camera women doing the work of God. God bless you. All our technicians that are helping us to have this beautiful service, you are blessed and loved in the name of Jesus. I love this couple sitting up there, Bobby and his wife. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Wonderful. Our God is good. Please let us prepare our Bibles as we want to share a word of God. God bless you, my sister. I love you so, so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. All my baby are in red today like mommy. Is it a simple coincidence? <laughs> they are all in red like me. I love it. Ça prouve que nous sommes God bless you. So we want to share the word of God this afternoon. And please, can we avail our topic on the screen, please, so everybody can read. Today, God wants to speak especially to you. And je veux vraiment que tu puisses vraiment écouter cela avec la plus grande attention. C'est une nouvelle stratégie que le Saint-Esprit nous a inspiré. And I want you guys to really pay attention and to listen carefully to this word. Amen? So, today our topic is See in the Invisible and Rest. Hallelujah. Somebody can read with me. See in the invisible and, again, and rest. Vois dans l'invisible et entre dans ton repos. Hallelujah. Amen. Vois dans l'invisible. Ça semble bizarre, yeah? Yes, that's why we're going to see. How can we see in the invisible and rest? Hello? Comment est-ce que quelqu'un peut regarder ou voir dans l'invisible? D'abord, est-ce qu'on voit l'invisible? Oh yes, on voit l'invisible, baby. I will show you. With your physical eyes, you cannot see the invisible, but because you are a spirit, yes, you can see in the visible. Hello? Il est impossible que tu vois dans l'invisible avec tes yeux physiques. Impossible. Mais, I am talking to spirits. Je suis en train de m'adresser aux esprits. Hallelujah. Je ne m'adresse pas à la chair, je m'adresse à l'esprit. If you are a spirit, as you used to declare, your identity of nature, you are a spirit, you've got a soul, and you've got also, you live in a body. Yes or yes? But you are a spirit. 
The reason why I put this topic because I know I'm talking to spirits. A spirit is able to see in the invisible. Hallelujah. Il n'y a que l'esprit qui est capable de regarder ou de voir dans l'invisible. L'homme corps ne voit jamais dans l'invisible. Actually, let me just put this first. Let us read in the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 20 to 21. We're going to make two or three scriptures today. But let me start by this first, please. Romans, chapter 1, verse 20 to 21. Romans, chapter 1. Verset 20 à 21. Can you please read with me so you can understand what we're talking about today? Romans chapter 1, verse 20 to 21. I'm going to read the Bible. The Word of God says this. For since the creation of the world, he is visible. He, he, he. Let me start again, please. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and goodness, so that they are without excuse. <laughs> because although they knew God, they did not glory him as God, nor were thankful for becoming futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. That is the first scripture. I want us quickly to jump to 2 Corinthians chapter 4 that you know very well. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. Here is what the Bible says. Verse 18. Hello? Are you with me? 2 Corinthians Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18, the Bible says, While we do not look at the things which are seen or which are visible. Nous ne regardons pas aux choses qui sont visibles, yes? But at the things which are not seen or which are invisible. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Hallelujah. Nous ne regardons pas aux choses visibles, mais nous regardons aux choses invisibles. Les choses visibles sont passagères ou temporaires, tandis que les choses invisibles sont éternelles. Amen. On va mettre une petite pause. I want now to explain something to you. As I was meditating the word of God, the spirit of God put something into my heart and I would love to share this with you guys. I want to avail yourself to listen to this because you're going to find an answer in this sermon. Hallelujah. Que tu mets donc ton attention parce que tu vas trouver la réponse à tes questions. This is a new strategy for you. As you may know, my brothers and sisters, there are two realms. There is the physical realm, which is visible, and there is the invisible or the, the spiritual realm that we also call the supernatural. Hallelujah. Il y a le monde physique, il y a aussi le monde surnaturel ou spirituel. But because you are living in this world, you've got your body, but you know yourself how you also declare that you are a spirit. As a spirit, you're supposed to live in your kingdom. Hallelujah. You are working on this world to live in this world. But in fact, you have your world in your own spirit. As a spirit, you've got your own realm you are supposed to operate in. You have to operate in the spiritual because that's your royaume. Hallelujah. So even though we are living on this earth, we can see things with our physical eyes, yet we belong to another realm. Nous appartenons à un autre monde. Nous sommes des esprits, nous appartenons au monde spirituel et nous sommes appelés à opérer dans le monde spirituel. Alléluia. So you will never succeed your life in your life if you keep operating in the physical realm while you know you are spirit. Tu ne pourras jamais réussir 
si tu continues à opérer dans le physique, pendant que tu sais toi-même que tu es un homme spirituel, et ton monde, ce n'est pas le physique, c'est le spirituel. Alléluia. So you're supposed to connect to the kingdom you belong to. Tu dois te connecter au royaume auquel toi tu appartiens. La raison pour laquelle tu n'as jamais réussi, c'est parce que tu n'as jamais essayé d'opérer dans ton monde à toi. Ton monde à toi est spirituel. Your world, your realm is spiritual. It's called the supernatural. Hallelujah. So if you want to see the result, you gotta bring things from the supernatural, bring them down here on the earth so your physical eyes can see them. So, as a remembrance, this is the year of things which our eyes have never seen. Which our eyes have never seen. The things that our ears have never heard. L'année des choses que nos yeux n'ont jamais vues. Ce que nos yeux n'ont jamais vu se trouve dans l'invisible justement. Alléluia. What our eyes have never seen. Those things are stuck in the invisible. Those things are stuck in the supernatural. Because you belong to the supernatural realm, you're supposed to bring those things down so that your physical eyes can see them. Comme toi tu appartiens au monde spirituel, please, I want you to wake up these people. C'est le diable qui ne veut pas que tu écoutes ce message. I want you to move that girl, please. Est-ce que tu peux bouger ma soeur là? Hello? Wake up. The devil doesn't want you to listen to this, please. Because this is something you're supposed to do in order to succeed. Please, pay attention. Give me your ears. It is very important for your life. The reason why the devil doesn't want you to discover this is because this is now the beginning of your new life if you practice it. Amen? So, my dear, this is what I'm telling you. You're supposed now to operate in the supernatural. How are we supposed not to reach there? I praise God for this, our ministry. Because our Father always insists that we're supposed to read the Bible. Because the promises are in the Bible. So, the best way to see in the invisible... The best way to see in the invisible is to see your future into the scriptures. Hallelujah. La meilleure façon de voir dans l'invisible, c'est de plonger ton regard dans l'écriture, dans les écritures ou bien dans les promesses de Dieu. Because this is where you're going to find your future. Hallelujah. Because you cannot, tu peux pas inventer quelque chose. Tu vas seulement faire ce que Dieu a déjà mis en place pour toi. La Bible dit que Dieu a déjà mis pour toi par écrit, alléluia, des conseils et des réflexions. You guys, you've got to refer, tu vas seulement te référer à ce que Dieu a déjà mis pour toi par écrit. So when you read a promise of God, quand tu lis la promesse de Dieu, tu dois absolument voir ta vie là-dedans, alléluia. So there are things that you have never seen, my brothers and sisters. The things that you have never seen are in the promises of God. Les choses que les yeux n'ont jamais vues, que les oreilles n'ont jamais entendues, se trouvent dans les promesses de Dieu. Ces choses sont stockées dans chaque phrase de la promesse de Dieu. Hallelujah. So now, number one, I want you to write this down, please. Je vais te donner quelques petits principes. Que tu vas écrire. When you reach home, please read. Read again. Then practice. What I'm telling you is the result of my own experience. Hallelujah. C'est ce que moi-même j'ai expérimenté. I'm not telling you something that I don't know. Myself, I've been there. And I saw results. So if God did it with me, he can do it for you also. Hallelujah. It's just when you've got the will to do it. Si tu as la volonté de le faire, tu vas commencer à avoir un changement dans ta vie. Number one, please consider the promise of God against the situation, the negative situation you are living in. Tu dois opposer la promesse de Dieu et la situation négative dans laquelle tu te trouves. Hallelujah. You take your, positive, your negative situation, then you take the promise of God that is, ça oppose à cette situation. Am I talking to somebody? Hallelujah. Est-ce que je parle aux esprits? Am I talking to spirits? Number one, what you're supposed to do to see in the invisible, number one principle is tu vas opposer la situation fâcheuse, 
la situation négative qui te tourmente, tu l'opposes à la promesse de Dieu écrite dans la, dans la Bible. So there are things, two situations. There are two things now. You've got your situation, your negative situation, then you've got the word of God. Yes or yes? Hallelujah. The word of God is yes yeah and amen. La parole de Dieu est oui et amen. Dieu ne pourra jamais mentir. Ce qu'il dit, c'est ce qu'il va se réaliser. Maintenant, in this physical realm, in this physical realm, you are facing some challenges. Dans ce monde physique, tu es confronté à plusieurs situations fâcheuses. This is what you have to do, number one. Tu prends ta situation, tu l'opposes à la parole de Dieu. Qu'est-ce que la parole de Dieu dit par rapport à cette situation? This is what I mean, number one. Hallelujah. So when you will see what the word of God says, and you know that this is exactly what God says, he will never change his word. Tu sais bien que Dieu ne pourra jamais changer sa parole. Donc, as a spirit, you, you are going to soak yourself in the promise. Tu vas te plonger complètement dans cette promesse de Dieu-là. En oubliant ta situation. Am I talking to somebody? Hello? Est-ce que je parle à un esprit? La richesse. So once you discover the promise of God against that situation, you're going to soak yourself. When I say soak yourself, ça veut dire te plonger entièrement en tant qu'esprit. Te plonger entièrement dans cette promesse-là. You will soak yourself in that promise until you start to live. Dans l'imagination, tu commences à vivre ce que cette promesse dit à propos de toi. Hello? Tu te fais une idée, en fait, un dessin si tu veux. A blueprint in your spirit. Tu oublies un peu ce que tu es en train de vivre là. Tu regardes ce que la parole de Dieu dit. Et tu te plonges là-dedans jusqu'à ce que tu sens que tu commences à vivre cette nouvelle vie là. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Hello? Did you get the first number one principle? How do we see now again in the invisible? You see, my dear, it is very simple as ABC. It's just very simple. God is very simple. People used to complicate. God is very simple. On nous prêche un Dieu dur, un Dieu difficile. Dieu est très simple. Il suffit tout simplement de t'appliquer à ces principes. Hello. So, number two things you have to do to see in the invisible. I want you to write this down, please. Maybe this is where you're going to find your answer. Number two principle. <laughs> this is very amazing. Number two principle. As I said, I've just said it actually. I make number one and number two. Number one was to consider the promise of God. Number two is to soak yourself in the, the scripture. Number three now. You're not supposed to fear. Maybe you are telling me it is not very easy. Maybe you fear. <laughs> tu as tellement été matraqué par cette situation qui t'a tellement fait mal. Tu ne crois plus à rien. Tu as même peur de faire le premier pas. Fear not. Somebody say fear not. Can you tell your neighbor, please, fear not? Because the devil will always show you his weapons. Le diable va toujours te montrer ses armes à lui pour te clouer dans cette situation-là. You're not supposed to look at the weapons of the devil. You're supposed to look at Jesus, hallelujah, who is the author and the consumer of your, of your faith. Tu ne dois pas regarder aux armes que le diable te présente. Tu dois plutôt regarder à Jésus-Christ qui est l'auteur et le consommateur de ta foi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this battle, this is a battle I'm telling you. Ça c'est un combat, mais c'est le bon combat. In this battle, Somebody must, must win, and it is you. You're supposed to become blind physically. Hello? You're supposed to become blind physically and open and shine and sharpen your spiritual eyes. Parce que tu ne regarderas jamais à l'invisible avec tes yeux physiques. Ce n'est pas possible. It is not possible. Hello? You have to die to this flesh and become spiritual. The battle is for God, but you are a winner. Only one you'll be able to do this. 
One thing you must know, my brother, the devil will never, never hinder you from seeing in the invisible. Hello? Le diable ne pourra jamais t'empêcher de regarder dans l'invisible. <laughs> Ça semble étrange, n'est-ce pas? Le diable ne pourra jamais t'empêcher de regarder dans l'invisible. Le diable fait un effort pour que tu puisses regarder le visible. Or, c'est le visible qui te fait mal. Maintenant, choisis de regarder l'invisible parce que c'est là que se trouve le résultat. C'est là que se trouve la vie. So if you know that the devil is never is not able to hinder you from seeing in the invisible, please do it. My dear, let me calm down because I can see the work of the devil in our midst. And I declare in the name of Jesus, what God has prepared for you to hear today, you will hear it. Whether the devil like it or no, I can see you seem to be wary. My brother, my sister, this is what I'm telling you, what God put in my heart. Je vous répète que le diable ne veut pas que vous écoutiez ceci. Il connaît déjà que c'est le commencement de votre victoire. My brother, my sister, as I'm telling you, this is so spiritual. And it's for people who wants to live in the spiritual realm. And I declare, what the devil has prepared for you today, not to get this word, is void. It shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus. I know many of us here, we are still living in difficult circumstances. But there is a solution that God is bringing you. All I'm asking you, my brother and my sister, if you feel you want to sleep, just stand up. Si tu sens que le sommeil arrive, c'est le diable. Tu peux toujours te mettre debout pour chasser le sommeil. Le diable ne veut pas que tu écoutes ça. Justement, c'est ça qui va stopper son travail dans ta vie. Hello. So, my dear, physically it can hurt. Physiquement, ça fait mal. Et c'est ici que tu dois serrer la ceinture. Quand ça fait mal physiquement, toi, rentre dans l'invisible dans où il y a la joie. Alléluia. See yourself in the, in the invisible. What does the Bible say about you? You are living a very poor life. Tu te réveilles le matin, tu ne sais même pas comment tu vas rentrer à la maison. C'est ça la réalité. Tu manques de tout. Tu n'as même pas à manger. Personne n'était. C'est ça la réalité. Mais quelle est la parole de Dieu qui s'oppose à cette réalité? Ça se trouve dans les livres de 2 Corinthiens, chapitre 8, verset 9. He was rich and he made himself poor so that you can become rich, you too. So my dear, today, you've got to declare that you are rich no matter what I feel physically. I may not have any single money in my, my, my pocket, but the Bible says I'm rich. What do I do? It's an example I'm giving you. What do I do now? I'm going to soak myself in this promise of God. La Bible dit que moi je suis riche pendant que physiquement je me vois trop pauvre. Mais la pauvre, oh mon Dieu, moi je vais commencer à plonger mon esprit dans cette écriture là jusqu'à ce que je vais commencer à m'imaginer riche. Quand je vais arriver au niveau de me voir riche, c'est le commencement de la victoire. Hallelujah. Hi. To see in, in, the, in, the, in the invisible is made for spirits. For spiritual men. Hallelujah. There is another strategy I want to communicate to you. Ça c'est très simple. God has spoken to me today at 5 o'clock in the morning. Say, you guys, when you worship me, you worship me on your lips. Quand vous m'adorez, vous m'adorez sur vos lèvres. Mais vos cœurs sont éloignés de moi. Hello? So my dear, let me tell you something. Even though it's hurting physically, when you worship God, see yourself already in that new life. Hallelujah. Quand tu es en train d'adorer Dieu, vois-toi dans cette nouvelle vie-là que la parole de Dieu dit pour toi. Vois-toi. Ça veut dire il faut voir. You have to see. 
You have to become blind physically, but to see with your eyes of the spirits. See yourself in this new representation. See, see yourself in this new life and start to worship God. But God is spirit. Dieu dit, il recherche chez les adorateurs qui vont l'adorer en esprit en vérité. Commence à adorer Dieu pour cette nouvelle vie là que la parole de Dieu dit. Vois-toi déjà dans cette vie là et commence à adorer Dieu dans cette vie là en esprit. Tu quittes le corps. Tu refuses le corps. Hallelujah. You have to refuse what your body is telling you. Any information that the body is giving you, refuse. Whatever the devil is telling you, yes, refuse. Parce que la Bible dit que nous allons écouter, nous allons voir les choses que le, 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 les yeux n'ont jamais vues. Les choses que les yeux n'ont jamais vues se trouvent dans l'invisible. Et c'est là que le diable ne veut pas que tu arrives. The devil doesn't want you to reach the invisible because this is where your righteousness is. Hallelujah. Le diable ne veut pas que tu regardes à l'invisible. C'est là que se trouve ta solution. So what are you doing in the physical realm? Hallelujah. My question for you is, what then are you doing in the physical realm? Parce que Dieu dit que ce qui t'appartient se trouve dans l'invisible. Mais pourquoi tu te persistes à regarder ce qui est visible? C'est not me. Come on, somebody say not me. From today, I decide to see my new life into the invisible. Hallelujah. The invisible is in the promise of God. L'invisible se trouve dans la promesse de Dieu. Ce n'est pas loin. Tu ne vas pas créer ça. Ce que tu n'as pas se trouve dans la promesse de Dieu. What you don't have, it is there, stocked in the word of God. C'est stocké. Hallelujah. The things that God has for you, ça se trouve dans ses promesses. But what do you do with the promises of God, my friend? Qu'est-ce que tu fais avec les promesses de Dieu? Tu lis seulement? From today, when you read the promise of God, soak yourself in there. Entre entièrement avec ton esprit, plonge avec ton esprit dans la promesse de Dieu et commence à voir cette nouvelle vie-là. C'est comme ça que tu regardes à l'invisible, my friend. Hello? So my dear, the choice is yours. Whether you want to continue to suffer, to listen to what the devil is telling you day and night. You know the devil doesn't sleep. Le diable ne dort pas à chaque instant, il parle à tes oreilles. Hello? He will tell you, look at this situation, you never succeed. Tu n'as qu'à abandonner, tu ne pourras jamais réussir. Regarde toi, tout le monde se moque de toi. Regarde, d'ailleurs tout le monde t'a rejeté. Il va te parler du mal tous les jours. From today, my dear, decide to close your ears. Decide to become blind, but shine your ears in the invisible, in the supernatural, the kingdom to which you belong to. Hallelujah. Tu appartiens à un monde invisible. Tu appartiens à un monde surnaturel. Mais pourquoi tu veux opérer dans le naturel? Tu ne réussiras jamais. I found myself in a situation as a testimony I'm going to give you. Once I discovered this, that time, that I start to, to imagine. I want in the word of God, me too. Je suis allé dans la parole de Dieu. J'ai opposé la promesse de Dieu à la situation qui me dérange. I said I won't take a decision from today. I don't want to live in this situation. But the easiest way for me is just to soak myself in the promise of God. Quand j'ai commencé à regarder les merveilleuses choses dans la promesse de Dieu, j'ai commencé à me sentir yagayardi. Let me tell you, my brother, tu dois le essayer aussi. You have to try this. It's a very nice experience, my friend. Quand j'ai commencé à me voir dans cette nouvelle vie-là, il y a quelque chose qui s'est passé en moi, la paix. Hallelujah. Somebody say peace. Come on, say peace. Once you will experience peace, my friend, that is the beginning of your victory. Hello? Quand tu vas commencer à expérimenter la paix, c'est ça le début de ta victoire. Et cette paix-là, la Bible dit, il n'y a que Jésus-Christ qui la donne. But how do you do? I want to open up something for you before we finish. Before, this is very difficult. But you dois le porter. Before you reach your victory, you have to endure. Avant d'arriver à ta victoire, tu dois endurer. 
C'est un principe, c'est la nature. Personne ne peut y échapper. Tu dois passer par l'endurance, la peine. Hello. I can even say, you remember Jesus Christ before the crucifixion. Avant d'être crucifié, Jésus-Christ est passé par le jardin de Gethsemane. Yes or yes? He endured the pain. Everybody has got his own Gethsemane. Chacun de nous a sa période de Gethsemane. Où tu es seul. Tu penses que le Dieu t'a abandonné. You feel lonely. Nobody is there to rescue you. Only you and God. Even Joseph, one time, he went through that period, rejected by his brothers. He was sold as a slave by his brothers. He found himself in a prison where there was no father, no mother, no brother. He found himself in a prison. By all of us, we know what happened to Joseph. Nous tous, nous savons ce qui est arrivé à Joseph après avoir enduré tout ce qu'il a enduré. You know also the man called David. He also, he went through some, so, some very tough time with Saul. Le roi Saul l'a persécuté à mort. Il est passé par là et pourtant c'était lui que Dieu avait oué comme roi, mais il est passé par l'endurance. So my dear, maybe today you too you are passing from suffering in, in, in that affliction, some kind of afflictions. Maybe you find yourself abandoned. Maybe you find yourself rejected. Nobody is there to help you. You ask for help, nobody helps you, my dear. Est-ce que ça t'est déjà arrivé? Tu prends ton téléphone, tu regardes dans ton répertoire, tu appelles tous les numéros, aucun numéro ne répond. Tout le monde te dit, attends, je vais te rappeler. Il ne te rappelle jamais. Il y a même des gens, on leur a dit, ok, dans 30 minutes, je vais te faire euh, un transfert. Euh, euh, le transfert n'est jamais arrivé. Oh. My dear, you are dying yourself of anger. You know, have nobody to help you. That is your own get some money too. C'est obligatoire. Tout le monde va passer par là. So this is the time you have to show who you are. C'est le véritable moment où tu dois maintenant montrer si réellement tu es un esprit. Si tu es un esprit, tu vas te plonger dans l'invisible. Hello. If you are a spirit, you will look into the invisible. Cette parole, c'est pour une personne. Just one person. God wants to release one soul today. And you know that there is some particular situation you find yourself in. This is the answer to your query. The decision is yours, my friend. Are you going to remain in that situation? Or are you going to look or to see in the invisible and get a rest? Chaque fois que tu vas regarder dans l'invisible, mon frère, ma soeur, tu dois rentrer dans le repos. Oh my God! The invisible is the place of rest. Hallelujah! L'invisible, c'est la place du repos. Amen! I found rest. That's why I'm smiling, baby. I found rest in the invisible. I practice this every day and I found peace. I don't care what happened. I, don't, I mean, I don't even feel it. Tu sais, quand tu as été mordu par le diable, ça fait trop mal. Le diable touche là où ça fait le plus mal. Mais tu dois montrer que tu n'appartiens pas à ce monde. Tu appartiens à un autre royaume. Tu vas regarder à l'invisible et commencer à trouver la joie qui va venir nettoyer la plaie du diable. Hallelujah. In the invisible, you will find joy. C'est dans l'invisible que tu vas retrouver la joie et la paix. Ça va te mettre dans un moment de paix et de bonheur. You will start to feel joy, my friend, until you will not see. Tu ne vas plus sentir la morsure du serpent. You will not feel the bite, man. You will not feel it anymore. Le problème est là, mais il ne te mord plus. Le problème a perdu sa puissance sur toi. Because the problems come for you to hurt you physically. And when you refuse to operate in the physical realm, you plunge yourself in the invisible. Est-ce que le problème a encore sa raison d'être? So, my dear, this is your 
words. This is what God wants you to do. I wonder in which circumstance you find yourself. I was there too. But I can smile today. I can smile. C'est ça qui va amener rapidement ces choses-là dans ta vie. Quand tu vas aller les chercher dans l'invisible, elles vont venir rapidement. Alléluia. When you will go to seek for those things that your eyes have never seen, I mean your physical eyes have never seen, when you're going to seek for those things into the invisible, they will come to you very quickly. Tu vas te réveiller un matin, les choses que toi tu voyais seulement dans l'invisible, tu vas les voir un jour arriver. Tu te réveilles le matin, ces choses-là sont devant toi. Who believe it? Qui croit à ça? Qui croit à ça? Who believe in this? I believe, and let me just say, I declare for you, my friend. Once you will take the decision to practice this, these things that you are waiting for, ces choses que tu attends tous les jours, elles sont juste là en toi. Those things are in you. Ça te demande seulement un petit effort de plonger ton esprit dans la parole de Dieu et de commencer à vivre en accord avec ce que Dieu dit. It is only at that time that we will start to live the victory of the things which Jesus has acquired for us on the cross. C'est seulement à ce moment-là que nous allons commencer à vivre la victoire des choses pour lesquelles notre Jésus-Christ, le Sauveur, est mort sur la croix. Amen. God bless you abundantly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray a little bit. It is a little bit tough. Ça demande vraiment la foi. Je te démontrerai de te mettre juste un peu debout et d'élever ta voix. Raise up your voice and pray to God. From today, you can start to see in the invisible and get your rest. À partir d'aujourd'hui, tu peux déjà commencer à, à partir de maintenant, I should say, it is from now that you can start to see the invisible. In the invisible. Je ne sais pas ce qui te dérange particulièrement. But there must be something. Il doit y avoir quelque chose qui te tourmente. Peut-être tu es aussi dans un jardin de Gethsemane où tu es en train d'enturer. My brother, my friend, my sister, can you just start to imagine yourself? What does the Bible say about according to that situation? Can you just make an effort spiritually to plunge yourself into the invisible and start to see the marvelous things that God has for you? Please raise up your voice and pray. Pray according to what you've heard. Hallelujah.